throw out that bologna and cheese, drop kick the peanut butter and jelly. There's a new lunch coming to town. And it's the best thing I've had lately. Welcome to Help at Home, your resource for great recipes and easy learning. I'm Jim Hightower. Today we're making tuna loaf sandwiches, and before you take your finger and stick it all the way down your throat, just stick with me. <laughs> Besides, tuna is very economical. That means it's cheap. <laughs> so, grab your pen and paper. Here come the ingredients. You'll need two nine and a quarter ounce cans of tuna. That's the medium can. If you don't have that, you'll need four of these five to six ounce cans. Now remember, it's five to six ounces when it's packed with the liquid. When you drain it, it's only about four ounces of tuna. And get the one packed in water because the one's packed in vegetable oil, that's just gross. Anyway, one cup cracker crumbs. I'll be using saltines. Four eggs slightly beaten. One fourth cup or a little less of chopped onion, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon lemon pepper, yummo, one half teaspoon chili powder, yummo, and that's all there is to it. You'll need some bread for your sandwiches and any condiments you might desire. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. The first thing we need to do is prepare our pan and I have tried this with oil and spray and it sticks like cement. So your final option is to use parchment paper. And I've said it before, but I think even road tar wouldn't stick to it. Now, you know the drill. Wet your pan and shake it out. Then just put your parchment paper in and that water holds it enough so that you can put your filling in. I've got my bowl, lemon juice inside. I've got my eggs and I'm just going to break my yolks real quick there and fluff them up for a second. Put them right in. My tuna, put that right in. I've got my crumbs there, cracker crumbs. Got my onion here. This is really one of those just dump it in, mix it in recipes. So easy. I've got my salt, my lemon pepper, and my chili powder. See how bright those spices are. Put those right in. You may want to add uh, a shake or two of that uh, red pepper juice, whatever it is. Dump my crackers in, and you mix it up. Now, if you're thinking, well, you're making a tuna fish sandwich and that's gross, guess what? This is absolutely not a tuna salad sandwich because I can't handle that. That's gross, <laughs> at least to me. But maybe when I get a little bit older than I am now, I'll think, wow, tuna fish sandwich, yummo. All right. That's it. Next, we're just gonna go ahead, give it one last stir to make sure all those spices are mixed in real good. And in she goes. Straighten that a little. Then spread it out either with your hands or your little spatula. You want to make sure that it's as even as possible. And your oven. 350 degrees, it takes my oven about 30 minutes. Check it at 20. You want it to be firm but juicy, as the recipe says which seems like odd adjectives to me, but that's exactly what you want. Set your timer for 20 minutes to check it. Here's the tuna loaf just out of the oven, and what I want you to notice is that it is 
firm, but slightly springy, and that's exactly what you want. Now, you can let this cool off in the pan for a few minutes. Meanwhile, get some toast, and if you want to put butter on it, you can make toast your way. I'm just going to kind of dry it out and toast it on each side to save the butter calories. You can make it in your toaster, but if you don't have one, preheat your oven 350, set your timer for 10 minutes, and turn them on the other side after five minutes has passed. I'm gonna slide this over and oh, see that steam down there? Now I'm going to turn this over. Let that air out for just a second that way. And then, um, I'm going to turn it like this. Now, we got one more thing to do. We need to cut it in half. And we need to let this cool for 10 minutes on the cooling rack all the way around so that when we go for our next step it doesn't fall apart and neither will you all right it's been about 10 minutes i think i cut my yeah you know, cut my timers off now you want to fillet this like you would fillet a fish you want to cut it halfway through because this is enough for two sandwiches and just go slow. If you don't cut it even the first time, you'll get the hang of it. Then, get your spatula here, come up underneath, and have a handy pan here. Your oven's still preheated to 350. Flip this over, and we're going to brown, or kind of toast, that uh, inside that's moist. And if little pieces flake off, it's no big deal. Now this one is a little thicker. You can trim this and put a little of this over here. See, you just don't get upset. It's no big deal. Life is not perfect and neither are we. About five minutes. By the way, I wanted to tell you, you need to factor in a little bit of extra time when you're using the parchment paper because it kind of curls around unless you trim it off and it keeps the heat from getting to it right away and it takes a little longer to cook. So there you go. But it comes out perfect. Here it is after about five minutes in the oven, just lightly toasted. And that's the way I like it. If you like yours soft, then don't toast it. <laughs> Simple as that. Now, this is what you get when you use parchment paper. But let's jump back in time and see what you get if you just try to oil or spray the pan. It's not a pretty sight. <laughs> However, you can still use the finished product. Here is my tuna loaf. And I'm hoping that it will come out nice and easy. It's really cool. I don't get those. like that. Okay, so it broke, but you know what? I'm just going to toss it right back in. And we're going to do this different way. Even after all that oil, it's still stuck. While that's cooling off, I'm going to get my bread, a little miracle whip, and squeeze that along. Whoops. Miracle whip or mayonnaise is optional. However, if your tuna loaf happens to uh, break into any pieces, then your mayonnaise or Miracle Whip will help hold it together, which is nice. I'm going to 
take this one that did break just to show you and put it right on there and take your other piece and set it just above mash it down and you're good to go the thing about this sandwich is it's not how pretty it looks it's the taste you get all those flavors the tuna the lemon juice the lemon pepper the um, onion and the chili powder it's mwah. tuna loaf sandwiches super yummo and once you had it you just won't believe it now this recipe makes four and you did have to fillet it horizontally and cut it in half if you just wanted to make two square sandwiches and not have to fillet it horizontally you could half this recipe it would fill up you know about that much of your pan and then when it's cool all you have to do is cut it in half so you've got two pieces and carefully take them out it's totally up to you If you like this recipe for delicious and economical tuna loaf sandwiches that are super tasty and easy to make, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and share with your friends who like to cook or just want to learn how. Drop me a line in the comments below about your experiences with this recipe and what else you'd like to see in the kitchen. And tell me, <laughs> did it fall apart on you? It may or it may not. This is the first time it actually fell apart on me because I doubled the recipe. Click the bell in the top right hand corner for notifications. I'm Jim Hightower and remember everyone needs help. Even me. Enjoy. One cup of crushed cracker crumbs. Now that would be <laughs> flopper. Yeah. So I'm just going to take about a cup, a cap, a uh, flopper, flip and flopper flipper. <laughs> I'm a nut. <laughs>